We are at Formula Drift, New Jersey, the worst track of the season. You remember how I said I was doing good? Yeah. Cool. And he goes off course. A little disruption. I don't give a You tall. You did. What's up guys? How are you? <laughs> We're worried about you guys to back. The house is so fucking dumb. There's two showers. It's 45 minutes away from the track. It's an hour away from here. I would have rather go and buy fucking tents and camp at the track to drive that far every day. Yeah. Can I get the fuck out of here please? Alright mate! Can I just start beeping like everyone does in New York? Yeah. <laughs> fucking driving it! <laughs> So Mark went up into the attic for a look to see what was up there because we told him that there was a bedroom and uh, Dean and Dustin just fucking trapped him up there. <laughs> <laughs> this is our team group. He was like, say goodbye to your AC. He's up in the room up there. And I stuck him up and I said, now edit the fucking vlog. <laughs> Guys, you're getting no AC. I'm in control now. I fucking heat. All you have to do is just say please. No? I told you I wasn't going to beg. All you have to do is say please. That's all. One sec. I try to, I try to see if he's come to his senses yet. It's my fucking new home. <laughs> Just say it. Say what? Please open the door. I told you I'm not gonna beg. It's not begging. <laughs> he's the most stubborn idiot I've ever met. <laughs> Just say please. I don't beg. It's just manners. My manners. Where's your manners? I was going up here to fucking make sure the house was fucking safe. They're like school boys in their school uniform coming up and getting their lunch break. Sean, how do you get a gal in the black tire? First, I go mining. <laughs> oh no! Oh. He's got quite the bedonk on him. <laughs> you have it! I'm not, I'm not. Formula Drift, New Jersey, the worst track of the season. <laughs> this track is really, really bad. We're doing like 40 miles an hour in the figure eight. It's kind of crazy. When they have an amazing road course over here that we drive on Sunday for how road out. Which isn't part of FD. No, it's not part of FD. It's an amazing road course. Like, honestly, one of the best ones I've ever drifted. The track that we're actually driving for Formula Drift because it's like a coliseum, it's like a stadium effect track. So that's why they use it. But like, it doesn't really suit actually bigger horsepower cars that are like awesome the Mustangs and that kind of stuff. It's part of the calendar, we gotta do it, so. I'm gonna get some B-roll for everybody so they can. How about <clears> montages? <throat> Aren't they a big YouTube thing? Montages. The B-roll goes into the montage to make the montage. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, that's what it means. Have we ever had a montage in a video? What are you talking about? <laughs> Mark's face fucking me behind the camera. fucking ripped but like taking out the grip and trying to slow it down is not exactly the most fun thing in the world. Exiting outer one is, is definitely the struggle. I think for a really high qualifying we're gonna have to it's gonna be that scary commit into the wall. But now the more grip we take out the less confidence I have in doing that because but, like always in this car when you like you jump on the low pedal it jumps forward. Now like it's like oh, slowly pulling out a hole you know. You're not deep your your tires within the white line now before yep. you weren't but we're not like on the wall like yeah. like the top qualifiers are. All right. Yeah, she's uh, she's starting to catch fire a bit there, bud. Yeah, I know. I'm standing at the finish line with a water spray, <laughs> ready to go. Backfiring now more than it's ever been backfiring. So. Light the smoke on fire. Uh, Sean's fault. Put that flame shield on there. Yeah. Good morning. Watch the exhaust. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> One.
was the backfire igniting is his the tire smoke. The, the That's of fucking eggs, sick. Cool Ghost Rider. Yep. Look. Thank you. All right. Six more. Get you out there in two more cars. Got all 12 laps practice in. Dean's been in a good mood all day. We're just gonna send him to Ireland more often. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling really good. In that second outside zone, just not able to get the car out there. It seems like fighting the car. That second outside zone, past that inside clip. Yeah, man. Yeah, just, you know, unfortunately, failure to launch into that first outside zone for Dean. That's gonna hurt. I came up a little bit short on the entry to outer one, which kind of puffed me a little bit for outer two. Yeah, that's what I was saying, like it came in nice, you had a nice flick and everything, but it came in a little short. All right, Dean, Dean Carnage Carney with a 73, a 73. basically dead now. It's either stuck somewhere in its travel or stuck completely down. So we have to replace the lifter, which means we have to pull the head and everything like that. Unfortunately, we have about four cars to go until we have to go again for our fucking last chance qualifier. So that's not happening right now. Right now, what's happening is a quick valve adjustment and we'll be grand. I find myself in this situation way too often. I've just come to terms with it. I fucking suck the ball. You know what the fucking problem is? I, I think I'm actually too relaxed. Not worried about it whatsoever. And I'm gonna make stupid fucking mistakes like blowing out our one. And I'm so fucking mad at it. Like, I absolutely dry fuck myself. <laughs> A 73 from his first run. Dean Carnage Carney, Hyper Woo. NFT.io. Now he comes back. All right, so into that second outside zone. Ooh, whoa, wee, wee. Getting into the dirt. Looks like uh, what Forsberg did earlier at other angles, really going to highlight. And again, you saw the attitude of Forsberg Z popping up that front left. Spirited run there by Dean Carnage Carney. That, that was, was a sweet. great initiation yeah. from Dean. That looks like solid. That. 85. 85. So an 85 puts him in the top spot of the lower eight. Sean's in his like, favorite thing in the whole fucking world. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting really good practice at least. Yeah. We're just going to take off one head. Hopefully the camshaft is okay. flying when we do. Uh, and then we can just bang in some new lifters, stick the cam back on, put the head back on. Hey, Ryan was done. taking a pee so he put the gloves on. Ryan and Emmett have hey, Take off your gloves. What? Take off your gloves. <laughs> He's been working all day. <laughs> <laughs> you still think you're dirty. You're so anti-dirty that you can't even get dirty. Oh. oh! I can't say anything. My hands are pretty clean as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it for tonight. We'll be back tomorrow. Hold it. If you think they're only doing this for the video, you're wrong. It's every time I walk in, there's some <laughs> clanging and banging. I don't know what it is. I appreciate these fuckers. Make it sound Mostly like Dustin and Sean. I appreciate Dustin and Sean. <laughs> I appreciate you. Good job. Thanks for having us. Two fuckers up in a fucking air conditioned room all day. <laughs> oh, they did go on a date. They went bowling. Has he ever brought you bowling? Or, nor me. Fuck, and I know they come 14 years. Never one day. And he catches me for dinner every time I see him. Shit. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, how much time do we have? Hey! hey, hey, hey. <laughs>
of contact, so it was really unusual. So I loaded the car very hard on the entry behind Rome because we knew he had a bit more drive than us across outer one to outer two. So like I really asked a lot out of the drive line there, I really loaded the car and uh, yeah, it's fucking broken axle straight away. Which is like fucking unusual. We haven't broken axle on this car in years unless it's contact, like, you know what I mean? up we are seeing as they take their sight laps Kazuya Taguchi and Dean Carnage Carney but here we are back at the line Kazuya Taguchi is running the, he's running that VR so he's running that GTR engine under the hood of the 86 Kazuya Taguchi that's him but Dean Carney obviously the Dodge Viper let's see how he handles it on his sight lap we got a little scroll for the out front in that first outside zone, Kazuya initiates Dean Carney, the black shadow, the Viper lurking in the shadows of the bright yellow 86. Now in that second outside zone, massive angle there for Kazuya, and he goes off course. A little disruption, Kazuya going off course. Contact from Dean Carney. Let's uh, let's take a look at that because again, Dean was aggressive on the chase. Contact guys, right side. Yeah, but uh, man, when uh, Kazuya went off course, it looked like I've seen he seen a head shake there from Dean. So let's take a look, the overhead, the truth serum. This is gonna show the attitude of the car. As you said, he goes off course, but it seems that he re-enters and he's corrected quite a bit. Yeah, right here um, at the outside zone two, uh, Kearney gets very aggressive, but right there, it looks like he was almost shutting off or something happened to the car, I'm not sure, but it looked like he was actually, uh, the car was correcting and he kind of moved to the right because the, the car maybe didn't have any power. I'm not sure uh, what happened right here, but it didn't look like the contact happened until uh, Taguchi slowed down getting off course. He fucking jumped off the throttle like shut down the car. I'm watching the fucking live stream. That was the first reaction, but now they're saying that your tire stopped his tire sending him to go off. That's fucking bullshit. But like two tires off and out of fucking two. He had no drive. Of course I gotta catch him and drive into him, you know? And I wanna protest that, like straight away. No one touched the car. No one touched the car. Kazuya maybe get a little more aggressive, but yeah. maybe his car is compromised and as well. And here we go, slide him left for Kazuya Taguchi or right for Dean Carnage Carney, and it looks like Kazuya Taguchi gets the win. Taguchi advances on, Dean Carney is knocked out. I got your protest form ready, I'm protesting that. The first time you hit me. Yes. 
my higher left, uh, rear right tire on the dirt. Uh, no, 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 He's off course here, that's why I closed the gap, right? He's off course here. Oh, I touch it here. Now, he shuts it down. So he's clear off. Touch it there. And three seconds later. That's fucking bullshit. He thinks I'm crazy. I'm the front row seat. I see what you fucking do in front of me, you know? If they deem that my argument is factual within the rule book, which is the most subjective fucking rule book in the world, but if they deem it to be factual, they'll run the battle again. But they'll do anything not to fucking run it again, because they'll do anything to not actually look stupid. That calls bullshit. I asked, I asked them for the telemetry, and they said it was green the whole time, never even went down. Oh, that's what we want to say, telemetry. I just wanted Kazuya to have the opportunity to explain his side because I did see him drive over to Dean. He was having a conversation. What was said? Uh, I think he told uh, I let out the throttle on purpose, but actually I didn't. Uh, he contacted me like middle of the Arizona two, and uh, I was into the dirt because of the contact. Uh, my right rear tire was on the dirt. So I was gonna uh, try to keep driving, but um, I was gonna into the wall, you know, end of the outer zone too. So I let off the throttle to save the car, but you know, that's me completely misunderstand. I usually don't do it like you know, those stuff. It's kind of a judgment call, you know what I mean? Like from, by looking at it, it looks like he, he slowed down, but they're saying that the telemetry shows that he never slowed down. They're saying it never went to neutral, but he could be slowing down, but not at a fast rate. So the, their, the telemetry isn't all that accurate. I want to go see if it has actual numbers. Dean's saying that he went off course there, and that's what caused him to slow down essentially, and he was off throttle. You won't be able to protest again because it has to be before the next battle. But, Have you already uh, protested? Uh, yeah, we did. And, and did they give you the... No, but they gave us an explanation, but they didn't give us the actual telemetry, but they said that I want to see the telemetry. I think he drove his ass off, given the circumstances. I think the call is complete bullshit. I walked up to the line afterwards. Max on the line said it was bullshit. I hope we get some redemption. It really, really pisses me off to, like, be so close and then just have someone fucking park in front of you. If we can win the protest and at least get enough one more time and actually fucking run him over this time. As a driver, if you come over and you're probably apologizing, you probably have some guilt. You probably know that you're somewhat in the wrong. So that alone right there tells me that we need to fucking battle again. But. I think it was the important official because you can't talk obviously with the judges during the competition. Obviously they're judging other runs. So they have a driver steward and a port official. I talked to the both of them. The both of them absolutely understand exactly where I'm coming from. It was a tire off track on a concrete fucking rain gully, which basically holds your car back down there and you don't have any forward momentum. The argument is you do not have to have forward momentum in that zone. But the reality of things is every one of us, including the judges that I talked to, know all these cars, whenever you press the gas pedal, I go forward, right? So the track has a fucking nine inch rain gully that he drops the back tire in, which completely unloads the car and it holds you in that rain gully. So now I'm in the position of been here and I'm anticipating him on the right line to have actually momentum. He has no momentum because he's a tire off track and it's holding him back. Oh, I make contact, fair enough, okay, claim on me. 60 feet later, he then makes a dive because he drops two tires off track. He's entitled to do that because of the contact I made. He can say, 
that's what caused me to go off track there. Which, I'm pretty sure we're all in agreement that is fucking bullshit. Fair enough, I understand it's a situational thing and it's a difficult thing to judge over the track, right? But that's why you have the option of fucking OMT, like one more time, or shared fall. You can literally, like, hey, this is really complicated and it's it's gonna fuck someone on either side, shared fall. And, and I would have been mad at shared fall still, honestly. I would have been mad, but I would have been like, yeah, okay, let's just fucking get a job done. But we're then trying to go back out with a compromised car and fucking that. the end of Ormond Drift, New Jersey. Take the positives out of it. Crew was fucking amazing. They killed it all weekend. The car was really, really good. The track for how shitty it is, and the venue that I don't agree with us coming to, I think it played out relatively well, but uh, it's supposed to white out. I know in the room is gonna be the situation with Azuya. And like, I'm after having probably seven or eight hours now to like think about it. And the situation for me is I just, I'm super disappointed in him as a driver. If I want to take the positives of it, I know our car was good enough to go fucking a long way tonight. Had a super nice bracket and uh, just have to not dwell on this and now pull forward. The situation with the real book is they have to be confined of what it has in the real book as much as they personally agree with actually what happened was his fault. Which I don't agree with because it's a subjective sport and at the end of the day, they're all judges and they're the ones that actually get to make the decision on the run. So I don't agree with that. At least we have an answer. And thank you all of you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And we'll try to get back into doing more regular videos. Is that right, Mark? That's right. This is the plan. But thank you very much. Bye. Got a hotel